it has been a very a top, a toxic, toxic, toxic uh, uh, a situation where we gain and we flitter all of the gains by importing refined petroleum uh, products. So, when we say, if we keep hammering on uh, Ipman, uh, shouting, that must not, you, you, you said it, you rightly said it, that mustn't, that, there must be, you know, an iota of uh, truth in what, in what Ipman is saying. They, they must have had a reason for, before shouting. Before now, unless the government is not telling us what is going on, a lot of persons in some quarters are saying, we still have subsidy in play. Government is still paying subsidy. How do you explain the fact that oil price, you know, per, per barrel going up to 70 to $80 uh, uh, dollars per barrel, and then it changes from 80 to 84 I'm just giving an instance. And the, the, the price of petrol in Nigeria remains the same. It points to one direction, that government might be paying, buying subsidy. But again, paying, for, uh, paying subsidy. But again, it shouldn't increase. Government should do everything within its powers to regulate and stabilize the oil price, especially petrol in Nigeria. Because if, if it spirals out of proportion, if it goes beyond this, we do not know what will happen. See how Nigerians are, are struggling to you know, uh, cope with hardship of living, cope with economic hardship, owing to the fact that the fuel pump price jumped from uh, 250 to over 250 percent increase in price, and it has affected everything. So any increase now, higher than the uh, 650 that we were buying now, we, we, I do not, I cannot predict what will happen in the near future. So let it stop at the per speculation level. Let it be speculative. Let it not, you know, vary into uh, reality because yeah. we, we, we are on the edge now. Nigerians are on the edge and we wouldn't want uh, any of this to escalate. You know, the problem is that uh, in Nigeria, once we start speculating, once you begin to have these declarations and denials, mm. uh, you begin to mean something is in the something offing. is in the offing mm. and like we said the forces of demand and supply also affect price and the economic scenario in terms of fuel uh, and other market forces mm. may push these rumors into reality true and that is the, the, the problem that is that is why Nigerians are worried whenever Nigerians raise any kind of rumor from the grapevine or speculations those speculations turn into reality. You remember when they were talking about the value of Naira to, to a dollar? Yes. Nigerians kept saying that one day, one dollar will be 1,000 Naira. Mm. And it was a refrain. And economic policy uh, makers and uh, yeah, policy makers were denying it, that mm. it was not possible. Mm. A lot of stakeholders did not see the reality in that prediction. And that predi prediction was predicated on scientific evidence. Mm. It was obvious that Naira was going to depreciate to a point where it will be more than even a thousand to a dollar. So when you have such speculations in the polity, uh, 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 don't think that it can happen. Just as we are seeing with respect True. to True. Uh, a price hike. Absolutely. Now, it, it, one, one thing that we, we, we fail to notice is the fact that we, we do not have the powers of determining the market forces in, within our grasp. It is a situation that is out of control. Why? Because we, we can't refine. We do not have the powers. We do not have the uh, uh, means to refine petroleum products in Nigeria. In as much as we because do... We're importing because we're importing. Because exactly. we're importing. We, in as much as we continue do, we, we, we are continuously importing, we cannot control the market forces. Exactly. If the Patakot refined, if the four refineries in Nigeria were working, you know, you add that to the Dagote refinery, it would have been easier to control market forces because we have the tools and the mechanism of reproduction or refining this crude oil into products that we can benefit from. So it is, it, all right, let the speculation not snowball. Yes, let it not snowball <laughs> into reality.